Hello and welcome back to Hired Gun. Last time, the Martyr's End got attacked. And as you can see, it got a little ugly. Managed to fend off all the guys and... Cal Jericho essentially sent a warning to anybody still working with the Silver Talon that they either leave or die. And at this point, we're on the last mission. I'm not going to do that this mission, or this episode simply because having done it before i will say you do need maxed out stats it's not that difficult honestly it's pretty cheap just to get that stuff done you don't need a lot of this stuff like strength booster i'm gonna max everything out because then when you max it all out the bonuses are doubled and that's really useful and also, it's better to go in with plus three weapons than plus two. So, I think we'll probably run two missions. And because I don't think you've seen any of the side missions. Yeah. I haven't even done it to the point where it has the tutorial for them. Uh, in terms of what I suggest doing... I always say you do decapitations. Oh, that sounds really grim. But those ambot hunts and uh, defense. They're the easiest and they're just generally pretty quick. Stuff like meat harvest, you have to find everything and that can take time. Poisoning, you might get rushed while you're trying to do the objectives. Uh, capture. Capture is really tough because a lot of enemies will come at you. So it's easier just to do these other ones. From what I understand, ranking up the factions just gives you like an extra loot drop. I actually haven't done it myself, but I'll do it in my off time sometime and see what I, I get. Let's just grab everything we need. That's really it, yeah, because I, I really want to replace all of this with plus three versions, preferably another plus three status item, but that's a big ask. Come on, fully load in. I like getting missions on Coloss 44 because it's the easiest to do loot runs on because you just spawn in, drop down, run back here, grapple up, there's two chests, so this is the first one, get your rewards, upgrade Escher's Kiss, that's not bad, I don't know if I'll keep it, I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably keep it just for now. Then just jump, dart over. You know why they say us all are made of iron? You're gonna... Oh, cool. I've never actually had gang warfare going on on this map. So then you just go through, chop through some guys. The second chest is if you go this way. Grab those, drop down, I said drop down, and there you go. They're all the same from the story, so if you find them in the story, you find them here. Uh, don't care about the V-Panther. The rest of that's just money. The money's not bad. You know, it's always good to find it, and this way you at least have more money just to get my upgrades in and all that. Uh, what do I want to use? Yeah, sure, why not? Grab gun. Not exactly concerned about my movement speed here. Yeah, there's already 
because this is a gang war one, they've already killed almost all of the lieutenants. Yeah. And if I get the last kill... Mission ends. So they're nice, quick runs. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I mean, the Deathbringer's better than mine. Don't need any of that. That's one run down. Let's snag another one. What do we got? Uh, 80 grand defend. Yeah, we'll quick run that. Alright, I gotta remember where the chest here is. Because this is sealed. And, oh no, there isn't a chest in this area actually. Oh, so this makes it real fast. A little less loot, unfortunately, but... You know, usually money is the key bit here. I really do wish they would have made the vendors rotate stock occasionally and offer some stuff. I feel like the red field puts more lag in this game. Also, it doesn't look that great. And one thing is, a lot of these missions, these side quests, if it's if you're ever concerned, like, oh, or do these take long? No. On PS4, some of these will take longer to load in than to actually complete. Which is kind of nice, but also really, really sad. Oh, they can come in through the bottom. Defense, on the other hand, sometimes these can take a bit just because enemy spawns can get a little wacky. One grab gun shot kills all the attackers and my team. Up. Oh. Nope. Yeah, I know I'm out of the mission area. Maybe make it a little easier for me to get my loot. And I could let everybody in and fight them that way, but where's the sport in that? I do wish there was... I mean, part of the problem is this game doesn't have dedicated bosses. Because I'd like to have, like, a boss wave or defense be a little more than just 
stand in an area. But I I honestly think these things were kind of added later. Just because of how simple they are. I think it was the developers going, well, we don't really have much more for a story. But we can't sell like 12 missions or 13 missions at even $40. You couldn't even do it at 20 I think people would... People would have your ass for it. And I wouldn't blame them. There's... There's things you can get away with as a smaller developer and things you can't. And that would be one of them because no matter your size, people would still say that's not worth the money. Wish I knew where the last person is. This is the other kicker is... This one especially, you don't really know where everyone is, so you're kind of just stuck waiting. Not back here. For all I know, the game could just be waiting for the next wave a little bit. I bet it's a dog somewhere. I feel like if it was anything else, they would have gotten unstuck. Oh, there. Bots. Watch as the entire area is cleared. That's for all for that one. Oh. 
Let's it's knock out a fourth. Well, a big cat, maybe. Things are short changing around here. Um, uh, yeah, defend. Like Waiting. Everything's good. All right, defending on Asher Lab. There's no treasure chest here either. And this one's only... it's another top tier, but it's only two waves, so it's dependent on your location. So if you really don't want to do long fights, you can pick maps that are a bit shorter. Yeah, one thing too is never be afraid to sacrifice the other defenders. They're only around to just be meat shields in the first place, so... Utilize them as such. Unfortunately, if you're going for items, defense, you really have to know the maps because a lot of these don't pay out. Like, that was two grand. Not much of a payout. The only good part is I can still pull 90 grand from the mission cost itself and the vocal implant bonus. I'm starting to wonder whose side that bounty hunter is on. Let's get one last S rank mission in. Um, got beef with the Goliaths too. Where are they gonna get their stems from now? Actually, let's see what else there is. If there's, yeah, we'll do this lower end decapitation just because there's two chests. Let's hope these two chests pay out better. I won't use the grab gun this time. It, it makes things a little too easy. Ah, uh, plus two's not the greatest.
If your Haywire Pulse isn't up, Blast is a good way to knock a shield down quick. Plus, if you're lucky, it'll just kill whatever, or at least knock any minor enemies down, and then you don't have to deal with them. You know, take, take any kill where you can get it. Also, because I just remembered, always stock up on rat skin maps and the like if you're trying to gear farm. It's the easiest way, otherwise you're you're banking on lower odds. Yep, two lieutenants are already down. you really don't even want to go up top, you can actually just go back and forth here and just force spawns. It's a little slower, but it's a, it's a way that works, and sometimes you have to do it if the spawns glitch, because sometimes you'll kill everybody, but you won't have enough captains, so you have to wait until one spawns. This is... This is the easiest way to get those spawns to come out. Eh, plus one Archeo attack, not that great. It's also good to invest in the disruptability. It gives you the ability to hit square or whatever corresponding button on enemies with shields and you'll punch to break it. So you don't have to burn a haywire pulse or anything else to do that. This is our turf, skinny. That should be another 90 grand easy. Nothing fancy for loot, unfortunately, but that's fine. Or, yeah, 60 grand, because this was a lower tier. And a score of ass. And that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm